This is the electronic control that actually takes the place of your thermostat as well as your defrost timer. You can see on the left hand column, the top icon is your condensing unit. Below that is the fans. When both of them are lit, you're in the cooling mode. When those are not lit, the compressor will be off and your evaporator fans will also go off on the off cycle. All upright refrigerators and freezers have anti-condensate heaters around the door openings to prevent condensation forming around the doors caused by high humidity or ambient. To check the current state of the heaters, press and hold the upper right auxiliary heater switch on the electronic control located on the front grill and hold the button for one second. This will show that the heaters are in the on position. To change the current state for the auxiliary heaters, press and hold the auxiliary heater button for five seconds and this will change to the opposite setting. The heaters are now in the off position. With the auxiliary heater in the on position, this will energize the heaters around the door openings if the ambient sensor located on top of the case to adjust the control, warmer or colder, you would hit the set button. That would indicate that this control is set for 35 degrees. If you wanted it to go higher, you would hit the top icon. Till you see 36, if that's the desired temperature, hit your set button. And now you will see the cabinet is now set to run at 36 degrees. The refrigerator model, the unit is set for 36 degrees. To confirm this, the set button, depress that, and you will see 36 degrees flash. That is your set point. If you wanted to adjust it warmer or colder, you would just go up or down on either one of these. When you get to your desired temperature, hit set, and it goes back to the temperature at this present time. When starting your unit, there is a delay before the compressor and the fans come on, but if you see an error code in the display area, it's possibly due to a loose or wiring connection. A lot of times when the grill is removed, it'll disconnect some of the wires at the back, unfortunately. First thing you would do before calling for service, make sure all your electrical connections on the back of the control are tight. If any of the wires are loose, tighten the connections, check again, and if you do have an issue, contact the factory. For additional information, visit our website at www.continentalrefrigerator.com.